Hi, cozy friends. How are we this week? I did, in fact, I did, in fact, check this time to make sure that the audio wasn't blaring your eardrums, wasn't rocking your eardrums to the core, and you couldn't hear a <laughs> dang word I was saying. I'm so sorry about that still. As I was editing it, I was just like, oh my god, this big, big dummy. And cheers. I forgot last time. I'm not forgetting again this time. I don't know what's wrong with me. Cheers. Hi. Cheers. Bloop. Anyways, how are you? I hope you're great. This is, this is a special episode. It's, it's episode number 26, which means we've been doing this for half a year. Half a year. Some of you have been here for six months, half a year. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Literally, we do this one more time and that's a year's worth. That's a year's worth of videos once a week. And y'all have stuck through it with me. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Okay, the spirits are happy today, so we will have luck. We can't know luck just vibes because we will actually have luck. Okay, it's gonna rain tomorrow. Not sure what that means for me. Oh, we have things to bring to, bring to Clint's. Okay, so I said last time I just want to focus on getting moolah. Getting that moolah so that we can upgrade. Oh no, so we could do the community center. We could get the bus. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, we got three blueberry seeds out of that guy. That's amazing. Also, I had somebody DM me and they were like, trust me, like your your commentary about other women streamers was like, I got it. I, I didn't think you were being judgmental. But I do just want to reiterate, <laughs> just in case I mean, that rubbed anybody the wrong way. I... I think I was kind of just like chatting without thinking, but like, but genuinely I respect literally every single woman who is streaming because finding a place in this world, the gaming world is so ridiculously hard and I'm so happy that there's a space for literally any, any kind of woman who wants to stream and femme presenting person. I'm ecstatic, <laughs> but that it's amazing that there is a space for women to do whatever they want and appeal to whoever they want and do whatever makes them happy so period that's it just to clarify this looks like it's an open space but it's not question mark fusion and what happened to my strawberries you know what okay so i guess that's not an open space all right i get it i get it that's fine that's fine okay so because i said i'm prioritizing money i'm just gonna sell these all why not you know before I go back, I'm going to go to Clint's and I haven't done my my animals. I'm so sorry, animals. Come on, give us something good today, Clint. Give us something good today. We deserve. Okay, pretty sure we have sandstone. We definitely have that. Do we have sandstone? Oh, we don't. Okay, that was good. That was good. I don't expect much. And we got one thing. So one thing is good enough. You know, we do have to do, we do have to check the store because I need to get rid of this wallpaper. It's Wednesday. I can't do that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, hi, Harvey. <gasps> Hold on a second. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey just put his cards on the table. He laid them out, clear as day. Let's put aside our doctor-patient relationship, he said. I have never, Harvey. How many hearts do we have with him? We, have, we only have four. He, he lays it on thick. See, this is why I like Harvey, because he seems quiet and unassuming, and then he'll hit you with with some some stuff like that some days oh my goodness harvey on a wednesday at 2 p.m <laughs> oh forgot that i had these as well okay look at the little the little chicken oh somebody uh said that we can change their name oh but we can't randomize it shoot well, I will still change the name to somebody's name. Shoot, who should I do? Who should I do? 
Okay, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany, this chicken is named after you because you told me that I could change the uh, chicken's name, and I didn't know that, so thank you. Okay, Brittany, with one T. Yep, all right, all right, Brittany. This chicken is for you. Thank you so much for that valuable, valuable information. I cannot thank you enough. Eggplant juice. I'm going to make some strawberry seeds. And if this gives me mixed seeds, I'm, I, I'm fighting someone. I'm fighting someone. Fighting. Okay. Oh, and it, and it gave me three. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, we got three extra strawberry seeds growing. Okay, it's time. It's time to clean up this farm in general, I think. I think it's time to clean up the farm in general. Yeah, it's looking a little rough. It's looking a little rough. We do have the time, I think. I think we do have the time. I'm gonna go to the community center and I'm gonna do the 5,000 gold one, you know? Because I can, and that's the most important thing right now. Maybe we'll get a cool reward, huh? What do you think? All right. Some quality fertilizer. Hey now, that's that's pretty good. 30? That's pretty good. I might save that for if I get, oh my God, Pooh's right at the door. I might save that for if I get some more sweet gem berries or the ancient seed. You can have, you can have better quality ancient seeds, right? Or is it just one quality? I wish you could like mix. I think you can with, can you, can you do that with better ranching or better artisan? There's some mod, it's, it's artisan based and I feel like you can do really cool specific artisan goods, but I really want to do like a pumpkin ale. Does that sound great? Like if you could mix hops with something and you can do like a cherry ale or pumpkin ale. Ooh, it would be so, so good. All right, someone tell this girl to shut up and get to work. <gasps> that was my mahogany tree. 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 Dang it. It's okay. You know what I think about often? One that I should go to sleep. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait for the next day. And then I gotta look up what the hell Kent likes. He likes Autumn's Bounty. I'll give him Autumn's Bounty. I don't even know where the hell Kent hangs out. That's how little I know about him. Okay, when it's raining, he stands under the tree north of the house. Okay, so we will do that at 2 o'clock. We'll do that at 2 o'clock. Oh, we have so much open space up here. I don't remember what I wanted to do with it. Secret note, what does it say? I borrowed a necklace from mom, but she lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. <gasps> this is the one I was talking about. Okay, that feels good enough. That feels good enough. And I think, oh shoot, maybe the one's down here. Okay, not good enough, not good enough. Well, it's raining, so the animals can't even go out. Here I am feeling bad. I'm gonna go give Kent his present first. Bring a diamond. Oh my goodness, the sturgeon are needy. The sturgeon are high maintenance, high class girlies. They won't take a simple gem. They must have a dime. All right, here he is, standing in the rain. Are you friends with my son? You probably know him better than I do. Whoa, buddy, 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 buddy. Take your frickin' plate of food and I'm outie. A birthday gift, that's very kind of you, I love it. Okay, please get to know your son. <laughs> maybe let's, maybe let's get to know the son. Maybe let's get to know the son. Maybe your son wants to stand out in the rain as well. We're almost at 10,000 again. I have to get to my animals before they go to sleep. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My animals are gonna get to sleep. Don't go to sleep yet. Let me love you. Don't go to sleep yet. Let me love you. Okay. Goodbye. Don't go to sleep yet. Don't go to sleep. Okay. Whew. And thank you, Sharta. I can't wait for a little dinosaur. And then tomorrow I can finally let the little guys out. I got some honey. I feel like that took a long time. Oh no, it's just because it's... It was winter. Okay, so I'm just gonna prune this area. So one of my questions for today is I, so gaming was always something that I just didn't share, like as an interest, I didn't share with people in my life because I just knew that it wasn't something that most of my friends would like. And 
there's a lot of interests that I feel like I know my friends aren't gonna like but I still share it with them because I'm like oh this is like something that's really important to me or just like something so silly that it's like haha Kennedy likes this right and I think now like I there are some friends like my dearest friends the friends that I like now at this stage in my life feel the closest to and tell everything to either because I see them so often that like that's almost like necessary like it would be like like I would almost have to lie to like (laughs) omit the fact that gaming is such a huge part of my life and then there are other friends that I just don't tell things to like there's so many friends I have that don't know that I do all of this and they're like good friends but I just don't um share because i don't know i i don't know whether it's like oh gaming is still kind of stigma thing or if it's like a general me putting myself out there in the world thing or if it's like a like kind of wanting to have this space for my own and like the few 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 people that know about it because they just like have to know about it but i want it to be solely me and like my community because then it's more special I I wonder which one of those it is often. I think about that. I reflect about on that. But what I want to ask is like what things do you have that you feel like you can't tell you can't really like tell people that you do for any of those reasons. Like whether it's you want to keep it s- to yourself and you want to keep it like a separate community. You don't want you specifically separate it to have a separate part of your life or like a stigma thing or whatever it is. You don't want people to know that you spend that much time doing X thing, you know, is it that? What's the, what's your thing? What's your thing? I love asking that question. I think I asked it on stream, like, what's, what's your secret, like, hobby or skill? And people had so many good ones and so many that are like, damn, like, that would, I'm sure that you will find people in real life that would love that and appreciate that and it kind of sucks that you feel like you can't share that with the people closest to you right now but then like the beauty of the internet is that I don't feel that way I don't feel like oh no I wish my IRL friends knew that you know I do this because like it's part of me that like I don't feel that way because I have so many friends that I've got through this through being in the community online and like genuine real friends that I talk to every single day not just about gaming but just like anything and they're like real friends at this point and just having that validation and being seen through them is that satisfies that need you know completely I don't need the friends I have kind of almost for a different purpose to do the same thing so if you do have those things and you don't have a community yet that does do that for you and does validate you and does reflect those same interests back I highly 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 recommend highly recommend finding one online and I know I've said this before on these videos before but finding internet friends can be weird (laughs) especially not can be weird but like it feels weird it feels like a strange thing to do it feels out of your comfort zone when you first do it but when you find those people in that community that you really click with oh my god there's nothing like it it feels like a family and you just connect so much quicker because you're connecting over a shared interest and a shared experience or whatever and there's just that bond that you can't you know no, it's hard to explain so try to find your communities online whether it's through tiktok and or instagram or whatever but yeah question is i want to know what your secret hobbies or interests or anything secret anything that you feel like oh i wish i wish i had a, had a little community to talk about this with share it with us we'll be the ones to know the secret <laughs> my void chicken's big Brittany, Brittany, you're big now hell yeah and a void egg oh my god what a day all right there's your diamond i hope you thrive i hope it was worth it and then i'm gonna i'm gonna you know call me crazy i'm going to buy the the other community center bundle i'm gonna do it i know i only have ten thousand, but hear me out i think it's just the most important thing we should be doing right now i think getting that desert bus is essential because there's some good crops out there <gasps> the traveling carts today then i really want to do flooring and stuff on my farm okay okay none of those 
I guess I could get a cactus fruit. I could get a cactus fruit and put it in the seed maker, maybe? Can you do that? Let's see. We'll find out. Oh, I didn't go to the community center. Ugh, okay. Let's do that. Also, just continuing the point on community. I remember reading something. It was a study on depression. And it was in the UK. And they did a study. I actually don't know if it was in the UK. It was somewhere in Europe. They did a study in one treatment center where they just made a community activity mandatory. And I think they might have had options. They either had options or it was one single um, community activity, like a community garden and you had to work on it and you had to whatever. Or there was an option, which one interested you more. And then there's a little community of people that are all out also at the center. And you're all working towards a goal and you're talking about that goal and you're meeting up on a consistent basis on that goal. Ooh, lightning rod. And you are essentially forming this small community over a common interest, a common goal. They basically saw the like massive, massive, crazy, like unheard of improvements from I think basically everybody in this group and that that stuck with me ever since I read it that stuck with me ever since I read it because I guess the takeaway is that the reason why <clears throat> depression is such a common thing nowadays is you know obviously it's it's a neurological thing but neurological mental health issues can often have triggers and um, triggers that make that worse for whatever reason. I guess, yeah, it's, it's hard because it's like some people just have, <laughs> some people's chemical imbalances are just so strong that it, like not, obviously nothing you're doing in, nothing you can control in your life is going to help that. It's just what it is for you. You know, those were the unfortunate cards you're dealt. Yeah. See, even Elliot says, Elliot says, oh, you have depression? Try yoga. Try breathing in the fresh air. Yeah. My point is some people this is not going to apply to because it's a chemical imbalance and they just might need meds or counseling or whatever. But, um, and even then that might not help. However, the, for the people with maybe milder depression or depression that, you know, often does have triggers and stuff like that. Um, I think that's, I think, I think it's a compelling argument. And I think because it was a study and they showed the results of it that were positive i think that's pretty convincing and i you know humans are social people we're communal social people and and we live in a society where you know everything's bit everything's so individualized nowadays and communities look down upon um blah 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 but after reading that i think i read it sometime in college i realized how actually isolated i was and how little community i had in anything in literally any any aspect of my life and it almost like taught me to not like being around people too i mean i'm an introvert by nature but like i almost i don't know it's almost like a vicious cycle of like you stop seeking community you shut yourself off from community and then because of that you stop seeking community because community scares you or seems overwhelming or whatever it is um yeah i don't know i think it's interesting to just try and maybe if it feels out of your comfort zone just let yourself feel uncomfortable about it for a little bit and be like this is weird like i don't know these people i don't even know if i like this thing that much push those thoughts aside and just, I think, just focus on, like, feeling a part of something, whether it's, like, a perfect fit or not. Just feeling a part of something and feeling belonging. And this is so, oh, God, it's so, it's, it's not even corny, it's just cliche. But I really do think, I really do think it's important. Like, the happiest, the happiest times in my life, I can look back and directly trace for me. The happiest times in my life were times when I felt like I belonged to something, whether that was, like, me being the closest to my friends at the time. My only point is, if you've been feeling kind of like you're in a rut or kind of isolated or kind of directionless, purposeless. It happens. It happens. And it's not your fault. It's not like you're doing something wrong. But I will say, I would give finding a community a go. Whatever gets you jazzed the most in life, find a community around that. It could be the dumbest thing. It could be the dumbest thing. 
go find a community around it, you know? Fresh apricot. I don't know if we have that. And you know what? This is this is my own personal, I don't know, hot take, I guess one could say. Although I don't think it's that hot. Is that I think that's part of what makes TikTok so addicting. Is that for one, we all know the algorithm is like perfectly fine-tuned to appeal to all of our many various interests. Whereas like the Instagram algorithm is like, oh, you like this, you like this one thing? You you liked this picture? Okay, I'm gonna give you all of that. That's your only interest now. I'm gonna guess that's your only interest ever. And that's not how people work. <laughs> and TikTok understands that. And TikTok is like, oh, you like these 50 million different weird, not even related things? Here they all are. <laughs> In exactly the, the form you want to see it. So there it's touching on the communities that you might want to be involved with. And it's opening a dialogue with those communities because the way that commenting works is not like, I don't know, Instagram, where you everybody everybody sees if you comment on something, so nobody comments on anything and nobody engages in like discourse with random people on Instagram posts because, and you know that like if any of your friends co like just happen to click on the same post, they'd see your comment first because Instagram does that. Cause Facebook was the ultimate, where is this going? <laughs> Oh my goodness, the, the directions my brain goes in. But Facebook was the ultimate one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. This is solely so you can see everything that the person in your life is doing, what they like, everything. It's just about connecting with you and the people that you know in life. That's it. And then Instagram added an element of like, okay, but then here's some other things you might be interested in. And like, and then here's like celebrities and whatever. But it, it, there was still that that point of like, connecting with people that you know in real life so then like the people you know can see who you follow the people you know who can see what you like and what you comment on so it's like a little bit removed from from just being the purpose of connecting with each other but then it's weird because there's it's like those things are in contention like the 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 things of you wanting to explore uh other topics and communities you know that are that may be some of those things you wouldn't want people you know to to know and look at now that's being broadcasted basically to everybody that you know <laughs> um so that's why i feel like instagram is going why i feel like instagram is less popular now because i think people just crave community and interaction and not necessarily even with people that they know and sometimes especially not with people that they know when it's an interest they don't want people that they know to know about which is where tiktok comes in and tiktok like i said it's touching on all the communities you would want to be involved with all the topics you would want to be involved with and it's allowing an open discourse because you're not like connecting with people that you know i don't i don't know anybody who uses tiktok that way who uses tiktok and is friends with all their friends I think people actively avoid being friends with their friends on TikTok. Yeah, and, and TikTok is like, here, just talk to random people, talk to anybody, and and people who are excited about it just as much as you are because this showed up on their For You page and will respond back and forth in the comments and get excited about things in the comments or argue in the comments if that's what you want to. And it's just, the it's, the, it's, it's a community. It feels like a community. And people like um, connecting about things that like maybe they didn't realize was an interest and they get shown it on their For You page because TikTok is crazy accurate and a little bit scary. And then now they're able to be like, oh my God, I'm not alone. Look at all these people who are also excited about this. And I think that's why it's so addicting because it feels it's like simulating a community but i guess i don't know in a way it is it is actually community too but that's my case on why on why i think tiktok is is so addicting right now and why people gravitate towards it and i and it makes me wonder how instagram is going to fare i feel like the people now who use instagram the most yeah are influencers who are making a living off of it and it's it's people like me who started gaming accounts and none of the people I know in real life know or I don't share it with them and I I don't really want that because again I want it separate. It's people like that who have completely different accounts or like fan accounts or whatever and are still trying to find that that separate community on Instagram that's anonymous. It's so interesting. I could talk about social media like all day. I just think it's so interesting. Damn, I didn't even go to uh, Pierre's today.
It's okay. We were doing we were doing important stuff. I don't know. What I I'm really curious to to know what y'all think and like what what platforms you grab you tend to gravitate towards now that maybe you didn't before and then like the platforms that you are still on if the stuff that you look out look at now or the way that you engage with it now is different. Very very curious to know. Let's see who's at the saloon. It takes so much wood to fill a fill a farm. Well, let me tell you. Okay. Oh, Kent's here. I learned from Shawnee Do that Leah likes salads. I also learned this from Shawnee Do. Shawnee Do does this often. I don't care about Clint. Good night, everybody. Cute. I don't know where to put this last wood piece. I don't know. I'll do this so that I remember to put a little pathway going that way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. It's sleepy time. We're both in game me and real me. And look, Chila Kiles is sitting on the bed. Laying on the bed, rather. He's sleeping. I'm gonna go hang out with him after this. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for half a year of Stardew Let's Plays. And I will see you next week. Bye. Thank you.